Christine. Hope you're scared. Thank you. Uh, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay. Off we go. Okay. Your move. So, my good move. pawn. Very good move. Queen's pawn, two squares. I think I'll move my knight over there. Or the horse. The horsey? Knight there. <laughs> okay. And it's so, your move. And then I think I'll copy you and okay. move mine. Interesting. Yeah. Knight in front of the queen. Hmm, me thinking now. What about if I move my pawn up? But I know you could take me, huh? And I am. I, oh, let, me, let me just try it. Let's try it. Pawn up there. Of course, and I am going to take you. Cause you it, may take it. Pawn takes pawn. You know, I'm going to take it while I can. Take it while you can. Good. Woo! I lost a pawn. <laughs> and you're attacking my knight. And I'm checking your knight. Not bad. So I'm going to move my knight somewhere. I'm going to move it to this square, if you don't mind. Right there. Okay, right, you might want so to then do I'm going something, to move I don't know. My pawn so that I. Pawn up one, okay. Check. Yeah. Not check, but you're attacking my knight. Yeah, horsey. My horsey is attacked, <laughs> so I have to move it. Now, I could take my pawn back here, but I think I can see what might be a better move. Let's try this, right there. Now, watch out, because I'm attacking your queen. Okay. Pawn takes knight. Haha! -ha. But now, how are you Horsey? feeling, Christine? How are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Well, I don't know, but I've got two black pieces on my side of the board. You have, and, and I've you've got, got nothing. No white pieces. I've got nothing. So. But call it luck, or, or I don't know what you want to call it, but I can think well, I can bring my queen out. What about if I come I here? I know there's a trick here. There's going to be something. What about some queen sort of... here? Now, what is that? That's check. What does check mean? Your king is in check. It means I'm dead. You've only got one move because your king can't escape. You could put something in the way on that square. You could move your okay, pawn up one so square. Just to block. Yeah, that's right. So forward one square. Here. To block the check. But of course I'm gonna take. Queen takes. And Christine, I'm afraid that's checkmate. How? You, you can't you can't escape. Sorry. First of all, what's it like to be here at the Gibraltar International Chess Festival? So it's a nice opportunity. I'm for the first time in Gibraltar. Of course, I know the place. And uh, uh, suddenly Gib Gibraltar became one of the most important places in the chess world because of the traditional chess festival, which uh, you have here already for the 18th time. Of course, this is uh, due to Mm, very active position of organizer, Brian Callaghan, <laughs> uh, who is very interested and very enthusiastic about chess, but now, now, now you have most important players. Even people who don't really follow chess would know the name Karpov. What has chess meant to you over your life? Mm, chess is going together with me for the whole life, because I started to play chess when I was four years old and I played my first tournament at seven, and the whole life uh, I do many things, not only chess. Uh, I'm a member of parliament in Russia now, and I was a member of parliament during Gorbachev time, last years of Soviet Union. Uh, then I'm president of the most important uh, charity organization in Russia. Um, but still chess is a big part of my life, and I played uh, 11 world championships in my life, which is the biggest number for anybody in chess history. But I remember almost everything. Um, there are going to be a lot of chess players here over the week. What advice would you give them? Without telling us the next move. Mm. No, the, this this was in the, mid, in the middle of the tournament. And to keep pressure on, on this side. Of course, we have also advantage on that side and yes. in the center, but it's not easy to, to break through. And then later on, of course, I will, 
I will bring back my bishop, but first I I want to play bishop c2, then rook a1, I take, and take c6. Uh, he has to go back, no? He has to go back, and then this simply is completely in position. Yes, you play rook, rook b1. Mm. Uh, just uh, don't be very upset if you have problems, <laughs> because in every situation you can find out some uh, some uh, uh, opportunities, and then you can uh, you can save the game, which was probably very badly looking for you. You must be self-confident and quiet. The 12th World Chess Champions, the Anatoly Cup. Oh, Playing against the 12th world champion in this uh, simultaneous display is a real pleasure. I was so thrilled when this opportunity presented itself and I was so quick to respond to the email and I was so happy when I got the email response to say that I was in amongst the, the 30 that would be playing. Um, it's not every day, I've been playing chess over 30 years and to get the opportunity to play against a, a former world champion and such a, a name in chess is just magical, I'm so looking forward to it. Brian, take me back to when the festival started and what was in your head then? What was in your mind then? These were quite difficult times in the, in the hotel world and uh, we were looking to develop winter tourism effectively and so searching for niche markets uh, chess was one of those things that can come to Gibraltar and in spite of the fact that we have good weather here as you can see now uh, it was one of the things that we can deal with if it rains and so we went to Hastings which is one of the most important tournaments in the world. I thought that we could do better than they were doing and that has proved to be the case. What does it mean to you? the festival? Well I think you've just used the word festival and this allows us here in Gibraltar to do many things that most chess events do not do. Most chess events or senior chess events like this one are a chess tournament. We call ourselves a festival and that means that we can do many things around the periphery uh, such as having uh, the battle of the sexes, such as having uh, the simultaneous. quizzes, simultaneous is, uh, and indeed this year we've started afresh and quite new uh, our linkage with the university. I consider that to be really important because I think that chess and a center of learning work very well together. Uh, we did our first one this year, it's been extremely well reserved, received and we've already contracted uh, one of the most famous players in the world to lead the 2021 uh, event and it's not easy to run uh, there are lots of moving bits uh, to running uh, what is considered by the chess professional to be the number one tournament in the world, in which you could say there are about 300 million players or even more. So uh, it clearly takes some time. Uh, I'm trying to push that and am pushing some of the detail out and trying to consider some of the... It's not going to happen, OK? Let me well, tell you now, it's not going to happen. <laughs> A, apart from anything else, I love the detail and I'm right into the detail and I think that that's not going to happen and I think that you're right. And I'm in it and I'm here to stay. So, you know, there we are. Hello and welcome to Gibraltar, home to the biggest chess festival in the world. We're at the Coletta Hotel where all the magic happens, the morning events and the Gibraltar Masters. Masterclasses, 
simultaneous displays and seminars by the best in the world. Blitz events for some fast and furious chess and of course our most awaited evening, the battle of the sexes. So uh, I've played in Gibraltar four times, I uh, came here as a player and uh, this is my sixth year working for Gibraltar so in total I've been here about ten times as a player and now as a presenter of the tournament, like an on-site reporter. So we kind of create content for people who are not able to be here at the festival. Um, everyone wants to come play here, but everyone can't. So as a presenter, our role is to give the Jip Chess experience to people across the world. You know, I think my, when I was playing here, the routine was very set. You get up in the morning, you have breakfast, you prepare, you go and play. But as, a, as an on-site reporter, as a presenter, it's a lot more different and a lot more flexible. Uh, there are no fixed timings, but because we're doing so many different things and creating so much different content, uh, that it just, it just changes day by day. Uh, one of the main things that we do is the post-game interviews. So once the players finish playing, they come to us, we ask them questions about how the game went. Also, Gibraltar is so full in its social calendar that we need to create content around that as well. And that's a big part of this festival. So it's really no fixed routine, but a lot of work at the same time. Uh, so it's online and also then what we put out in our broadcast is something that gets picked up by news across the world, whether it's print media or it's uh, visual media and they use that content in their country, especially for example, I can speak for India because I'm from India. There are so many players who have come from India here, even though it's so far for us, Gibraltar, but because of the kind, it's the strongest open in the world. Uh, just the festival that it is, we have a big delegation coming from India. So a lot of Indian media picks up our content and then people from India can follow the event. Um, I think the one word, I mean it's kind of hard to describe Jib Chess because it's such a full, it's not really a tournament, it's a chess festival. Uh, there is, uh, it's the strongest open in the world. Uh, you've got players, Gibraltar is far for most of the world, but still despite that, you have players from across the world coming to play in this, well, kind of a small city, but with a, you know, it's a place which has become home for the chess world, like a capital city because it's hosting the biggest chess festival in the world. Uh, and I think what makes it even more special is that every year there is something new the organizers are doing. If the tournament gets stronger, the prize money gets, it gets higher, there are more strong players coming into play, the younger players are making their next step in their career in this tournament. And uh, uh, if I have to say as a player and a presenter what makes Gibraltar Chess unique, it is definitely, yes, the tournament which is at, at the core, the Gibraltar Masters, but it's the social calendar. There is no tournament in the world that offers masterclasses by uh, the best in the world, their, the Battle of the Sexes event, our Blitz tournaments. There is so much going on. Like I said, it's not a tournament, it's a, it's a chess festival. Okay, so my name is Fiona uh, Steilantini. I'm one of the two commentators here alongside I'm David Hull, nice to meet you. <laughs> and so we are here, the two commentators for the 2020 edition of the Gibraltar International Chess Festival. So every day for uh, between five to six hours, we talk about the games that are ongoing live and we explain all the action uh, to the people watching us uh, on, the on the internet from all over the world. That's right, we talk about the chess, we try and analyse the players' thoughts, what they would be thinking during the games. We sometimes get the players in with us afterwards and have a little chat with them. Yeah. Several. And David, David is actually the chess expert, so he's one of the very best players in England. It's actually his debut doing commentary Sorry. at that level. He has played here many times before. He has finished uh, in second place. Long time ago. Long time ago. 
and I try to do a bit more the social side of things. So, for example, we have a chat on Twitch, so I try to keep an eye on what people say, what their feedback is, what their questions are, and so it's a very uh, interactive show, I would say. Um, and I also have to give a big shout out to, because it's not just us making the show, no, we're just right. here in front of the camera, but it, we have a great, great team uh, from Hammonds producing the show. And I think this year it's been really been a big step up and I've worked many tournaments, but this setting is uh, absolutely top, top quality and world right. leading in that domain. That's right. I mean, you see nothing like this in the chess world. Um, there are commentary teams, but nothing this professional. Uh, for my first time, it's great to work with such an incredible team. And, and yourself, of course. It's definitely a Beauty and the Beast kind of uh, pairing, I think, here in the studio. I don't think so, too, but it's great, uh, great fun for us to work together because this is what we do here. Um, well, this is our job for these two weeks, but we're also great friends uh, yes. besides Shah, so I think we have a lot of fun uh, doing what we do. And, uh, and yeah, it's just, uh, well, we're hired to do this, but it's also great fun. We get to talk about the game we love, so it's just a bonus to be here. And hopefully everyone at home enjoys it, too. Absolutely. Well, over the over the years, obviously, this is the 18th edition, so we, we, we've done it for 18 years. I think the effect has been absolutely incredible, uh, not only for a visitor or a participant and therefore tourist and visitor's point of view, uh, today we have some 420 participants in this event. Uh, they are coming to Gibraltar for 11 or 12 nights. Uh, so the impact of that, uh, it's uh, probably short of the largest tour operator production in Gibraltar for a year. Uh, so this festival produced the same number of guest nights in two weeks than the largest tour operator produced in the whole year or something similar to that. But apart from that, I think the impact has been great from, uh, from an educational point of view, which has now taught in all our schools and children. We have some 120 Gibraltar pupils that they will participate to the weekend event at the end of this, uh, of this tournament. I think has put Gibraltar on the map tremendously internationally. Uh, and I think we are proud to be associated to what is described by others, uh, one of the best opening in the world. When, when you say 18 years, you must have learnt a lot of lessons along oh, the way. <laughs> absolutely, and hard ones too. <laughs> yes, of course, it's, uh, it's quite, uh, it's fascinating because in our industry, in hotels, very rarely it happens that a hotel revolve entirely and every guest in the hotel is actually associated with a particular event or participated to a particular event and create certain challenges and differences to what normally we all about. All your guests are doing the same thing at the same time, which is very unusual in hotels. So over the years, certainly there have been few lessons that they've been learned. Uh, I think the team now uh, done it a few times, so things are much easier, but I remember the days where uh, room service was a tragedy because uh, half an hour before the master tournament started at 3 o'clock, we were end up with 70 or 80 room service order, everybody was doing the same thing at the same time. <laughs> and of course you've got, to, if I can say, two separate teams. One of them is the hotel team and the other one is the chess team. Correct. Uh, so how important that they work together? It's paramount and, uh, and obviously we are the link in between those teams. Uh, I say we as myself and the organizer, uh, but there are some 30 professionals that they travel to Gibraltar now working in the background to make sure this event uh, take place between the arbiter and secretary arts and broadcasting team and, and, and social media and so on and so forth. And then we have obviously the hotel operational team and, and to merge the two and make them, make them uh, work together, it's quite a challenge. Uh, I think we do it to the best of our ability with tremendous difficulties these days because numbers as such, uh, and pressure around the hotel, it's incredible. I mean, this year we will have a closing dinner for 430 people. Your grand finale uh, is, grand of course, finale. Your it's, uh, it's an important one. We have, uh, in the presence, uh, it will be in the presence of few ministers. Uh, we'll have a visit of the president of FIDE that is specifically coming to attend the dinner, etc. And, and those are numbers that uh, are very difficult and uh, present a lot of challenges anywhere in the world and in Gibraltar within our own limitation to serve 430 people at the same time. It's not easy. 
so yeah, we're looking forward to the challenge, and, uh, but uh, I'll let you know how it goes <laughs> on the 31st. Thank you.